right now on NBC Connecticut News Taco Turmoil. Hundreds of tacos delivered to East Haven's mayor in response to his controversial comment. Numbers game. Why the size of the state budget deficit depends on who you ask. Red light cameras. An emotional appeal for cameras to catch dangerous drivers. Super Bowl bound. Owl pride at SCSU as a former coach leads the Giants offense to the Super Bowl. NBC Connecticut News at 6 starts now. This is NBC Connecticut News at 6. Some of us saw wet snow this afternoon. Right now, the northwest corner is under a winter weather advisory and a little bit of Hartford County, too. Hi, everybody. I'm Jerry Brooks. I'm Lisa Carberg. We're in for a variety of weather tonight. Take a live look at Bradley International Airport, where rain's been mixing with snow. Chief Meteorologist Brad Field is here with the latest Brad. As you know, we are getting ready for the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Head coverage of the Patriots and Giants at practice and another Connecticut Super Bowl tie. The Super Bowl is super exciting for some students and staff here at Southern Connecticut State University. I'm Amy Parmenter. I'll have that story coming up. You won't believe how many Connecticut connections there are on the Super Bowl bound Patriots. I'm Kevin Nathan at Gillette Stadium. The story coming up. The rematch is on. The New York Giants are back at practice in New Jersey. I spoke with some of the players as they get ready for Super Bowl 46. I'm Diane Rossini. I'll have all that coming up in sports. Traffic troubles in Plainville, high school renovations in Berlin, and the Penguin Plunge in Farmington. They're the talk of the towns. I'm Monica Buchanan in Plainville, where the talk of the town is a potential change in the traffic pattern on West Broad Street. Efforts to slow traffic using speed bumps and stop signs haven't worked there. And residents say it's a heavily traveled shortcut to get to Bristol. Now Plainville is considering making West Broad a one-way or dead-end street. Before making such a radical move, though, the town will first consult with the Central Connecticut Regional Planning Agency. I'm Chris Coffey in Berlin, where the talk of the town is tonight's unveiling of a new design for the high school renovation. To erase a school budget shortfall, the redesign is expected to eliminate a 25,000 square foot addition that was to house new science labs. To meet accreditation standards, the existing labs must be renovated and handicap access improved. The school renovation is expected to cost $69.9 million. The Public Building Commission meets tonight at 7 p.m. in Town Hall. I'm Shirley Chan in Farmington, where the talk of the town is the penguin plunge at Winding Trails. Sunday's icy swim is a fundraiser for Special Olympics with a goal of $30,000. On-site registration begins at 8 a.m. with participants taking the plunge at 10 a.m. With a winter weather advisory and a wet night, take a live look at wet roads as the rain falls in Hartford. From CNBC.com, a down day on Wall Street. Not too bad. The Dow lost 22 points. The Nasdaq down 13. The S&P 500 off 7. We'll be right back. Tonight, time and temperature from TD Bank. start off tonight with a look at where there could be some tricky travel of uh, the highlands of Hartford County and uh, the hilly terrain of northern Litchfield County. But warm tomorrow. Yep, right. 40s and 50s. Thanks, Brad. You're welcome. All right, Kevin went east, Diana went west. Joe D is right in the middle of our Super Bowl coverage. Joe. Yeah, the old backup quarterback getting some playing time. The Pats and Giants taking on the media today. Our two intrepid correspondents checking in from Foxborough and East Rutherford. That's next in sports. The media descended on Foxborough today for it leaves Rutgers up the creek, although uh, a, a <laughs> guy from New Haven, Darren Rizzi, good friend of Kevin Nathan, supposedly a candidate for the show. All right. Thank you, Joe. Hey, right. Thanks for joining us. Tune in again tonight at 11. NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams is next.